What's the plan tomorrow? Well, I reckon we should uh, drill straws. Righty, eh? I'll have one sip, two sips. Yep. You can have three. So whoever draws the three sips gets to pick tomorrow's activity. Righto, in the esky. All right. Look at the sky. Reach in that esky. Matty, there's only one left for me. One. John Z. Three. Roger. Well, I've got a little idea, but I'll let you guys know tomorrow. That's not fair. No, that's fair enough. Well, right, yeah. I'm having my beer back. Yeah. You have yours. <laughs> So, John Z, what have you got us in for today, then? Well, I thought we haven't been riding since we were kids, so I thought we'd grab a few horses and head up in the mountains for a ride and go for a camp up there tonight. Oh, Willow, I've got your sighted, mate. It's a cow, mate. No, look on the <laughs> other side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't do horses, man. I'll go and get a quad bike out of the shed and I'll carry all the gear. Sounds like a plan. Oh, I haven't been on a horse for quite some time. To get back in the saddle, it takes a little bit to get going. Mate, you even remember how to put a saddle on? Nah, to be honest, it's been, <laughs> a, it's been a while. <laughs> Have you got it on the right way at least? Yeah, mate, yeah, no, I'm pointing forwards. For me and my kids, we used to ride horses, but since then it's been about 20 years. All right, Johnny, I'm ready to rock and roll. We're gonna be waiting all day for you or what, boys? Only one horsepower. Where are we going, Johnsy? Mate, we're just going to take that path up there through the bush, up into the uh, in the mountains there. Radio, let's go then. Well, most of the stuff that we normally do is pretty hectic, you know, so I thought bringing the boys up into the mountains to ride some horses would be a chance for us to actually relax. How nice is this, John Z? Oh, mate, this is awesome. Good idea, eh? Oh, beautiful idea. John Z and I are going to ride up ahead for a bit. <laughs> I was leaving here. Well, you've got two options, boys. You can go on ahead without the beer, or you can get off your horse, give me a hand, and we'll go up ahead with the beer. Only because you got the beer, Willow, will help you rescue the beer. Too easy, mate. Off we go. Back on track. Come on, guys, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, 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 we're coming. How nice is this? Let's go for a little explore up here. Yeah, definitely. Come on, mate. See you in a little while, Wilson. Right on. There's not too many places that are as special as far north Queensland. To be able to come up here and go for a ride with the boys, do a little bit of adventuring, as long as you leave it exactly how it was. No footprint at all. She's a bit steep there, mate. <laughs> Told you she's a bit steep. Here you go. Well, now you're wet, we might as well take these horses in for a swim. <laughs> oh, it's a bit cool in there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Polo! Polo's learning the ropes. He was a rescue dog straight out of Sydney. I think he lived nine to five. Now he's living an outback life, experiencing stuff that uh, a dog would only dream of. There you go, Wilson. Well, I wasn't coming looking for you, that's for sure. <laughs> Why? we found some great little spots. I reckon I've got a pretty good spot here. Got the fire going and everything, mate. Hey, look at you. Hey. you. set up camp. Everything's done. Now it's time for you boys to cook dinner. What's this? You're drinking beer without us. I'll get you one now, eh? Oh, so keen for a beer. What a day. How good was that, eh? Bloody pretty little spot, isn't that? I don't think it can get much better than up here. Ever since me and Matt were five years old, we'd go on an adventure, catch yabbies, snakes, whatever. The only difference now is we get to actually enjoy a few beers and a campfire. So what have you got for dinner? Got some mud crab, boys. Good work. Let's get some water boiling. When we're cooking in the bush, there's nothing better than keeping it simple, using what you've got on offer, mud crabs or fish or whatever it is. You don't have to dress it up. Crab's nearly cooked there, boys. Back one here, I'll test him out. Look at that, eh? I'll put him in there for you, will I? There's nothing better than great outdoors, stars at night, campfire, and it's a peace of mind. It's freedom. <laughs>